Hello guys, thank you for joining me, this is Fuzzfinger, and we're going to continue on with Rayman Origins. Today we will be visiting the Geyser Blowout. So we need to carry on collecting our Electoons, which are the pink things we collect by freeing the... Lums is it? I can't remember, I get so confused all the weird names in this game. So this is the second level of the game, we haven't... Uh, got anywhere near all our full arsenal of abilities. One of which is Glide. Which is quite useful uh, when you see these spouts of water. By the way, I forgot to mention in the last video, I'm playing it on the PC this game over Steam. Although I am using the 360 control pad. I've heard that the keyboard is definitely viable for Rayman Origins on the PC. But when it comes to platformers, I really do believe that the uh, that the controller is king. So when these electrons go red, that basically means they're worth double what they normally would be, which is obviously always a bonus. And I think I missed something down there. Did I see something? Oh, it's just one of these little plants. They give off a couple of lums. So I think I'll be aiming for 300 on this level to collect all the. Uh, what do you call it? The Electoons. Past few months, I think, have been really good for console games. We've had this and Sonic Generations. And both are, in my opinion, really bloody brilliant games, especially if you've played your games of the 90s and you remember all the platform. Uh, games like Rayman and Sonic and Mario. And Sonic Generations I thought was a definite improvement over Sonic 4 which was released a couple of years ago now. At least the first episode, I'm still waiting for the second episode of that. Right, go here. Since that closes up and you lose all opportunity to grab that. Now we do get a sprint ability soon. But not yet. I'm going to try and grab these two, I'm not sure if we're going to need them. I don't think there's anything down there to the right. No, there isn't. Usually if there's the hidden cages with the electrons in, or the lums, or whatever they are, uh, you'll hear them crying, HELP ME! So, that's always a good giveaway. I don't think there's any down there. Again, okay, nope. But I do like to check. If you're playing this on the Vita, by the way, which I've already done, then uh, there is an optional thing, an optional mechanic, where you can collect... Oh, I can't think what they're called. They're like artifacts. You have to touch the screen. And there's usually two or three of them per level. So keep an eye out for them. You hear like a clicking on the screen, uh, and that means there's one near. So make sure you grab them for your achievements, but that's only on the Vita version. And darn it, that's the problem when you're not concentrating. Let's grab that. So, these starting levels are really quite simple in comparison to some of the levels later on, which are a bloody pain in the ass. And I can hear the help me, which means that somewhere around here, my, I'm not joking, I'm not trying to say this as an excuse, but my thumb actually slipped off the controller, and as soon as that happened then on you, I was dead, and I missed the life. So, one of the things about this game, is you don't want to play it if you're easily frustrated. If you remember Super Meat Boy, and how frustrated you got at that, you do get a similar feeling with Rayman Origins. And in fact, some of the levels are probably really just as challenging. Now I can hear the help me. Ah, oh, we've got a sprint now as well, that's good. I want to be careful here not to die. I can only think it's up there. But I can't seem to jump enough to get up, so no, can't unless it's down here. 
No, then it must be a class. So I'm just looking out for the secret cage. And it's a class here. Okay, so you hear that help me from quite a distance back actually, don't you? Let's kill them. Carefully, 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 carefully. A bit more careful than that maybe. Okay, so kill them. And open up the platforms. For Rayman use. And you can either punch these boxes or just jump on them. So that's an optional cage. We're not at the end of the level just yet. Let's grab that. Try and grab all of these as well. And I've no idea why there's an eye there at those doors. Very peculiar. Uh oh, uh oh. Gotta be careful because those claw things are fairly nasty. Let's try and. And by the way, you can't get hit while you're collecting those gold coins, or you lose them. And I've messed this up big time, haven't I? Or not? That wasn't too bad actually. I kind of recovered from that. Uh oh, uh oh. Whew. I think we want to aim for actually 350 of these coins, but I don't think we're going to get that. No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Oh well. Let's try and. I don't think we're going to get 350 just by killing these anyway. Still, we should get all the electrons for this, even though we won't get the gold medal. You might notice that the central uh, thing in that medallion is like a, a clock symbol. And that's just to add to the replayability of the game. I'm going to go back in a moment to this level to show you what I mean. So we're not going to get the gold reward. So for 100% playthrough, I am going to have to go back and do that. But for now, we are going to return to that level just to try and get the time challenge. We've got eight electons or electrons, whatever they're called. And we've got a new character in the snoring tree. I'll try that out for the next video, but for now, let's have a look at the time challenge and how we do that. I'm not going to show the time challenge on every level since it is just a case of replaying part of the level uh, unless they are particularly challenging and I might show you how to do it. So as you can see for the time challenge we need 1 minute 30 seconds or less in order to get the final electron for the level and 1 minute 2 for the time challenge gold medal. So to initiate the gold challenge you simply attack the clock and then run your ass off basically just have to try and get to the end of the level within the time limit uh, in order to get the rewards you don't need to worry about the coins the lums anything like that just go as fast as you can try not to uh, uh, get caught on anything just basically race through the level obviously try and stay alive don't get killed that's always a good start go down go down go down go down don't die either you die on a time challenge you have to start from the very beginning even if you've gone past the checkpoint so we're 37 seconds in and we'll have to wait there or we'll get crushed oh that was close go now go now go 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 so 47 seconds ah uh, not good not good so I really want to try and do this if I can and that flag means that is the end and we did it with three seconds to go. So not only will we get our final electron, but we'll also get our gold medal. And that is the time challenge. You can get them not on every level,
but on most of the levels in the game they are there. And as I said, that just adds a little bit of replayability. We now have nine Electoons. So that uh, thing that's greyed out next above my Electoon total, above where it says 337, sorry, the Lum total, you can see like a little grey out, greyed out reward. That's because I didn't get the 350 Electoons that I needed on that level, like I did on this one. As you can see, we've got it there. But yes, so from now on, I'm going to play through the level once in the video and then go back off video to try and get the time challenge. If it's particularly challenging or I think you'll need some tactics, I will record it. But that's the end for this video. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been Fuzzfinger and I'll see you next time.